Krista, thank you. The back wall of Hotel Attica was evaluated today by structural engineers after it crumbled due to the storms on Saturday evening. News Channel 18's Elizabeth Rentschler reports the future of one wing of the hotel remains in doubt. Elizabeth. Gina, a structural engineer from Indianapolis, evaluated Hotel Attica today and considers the damaged area dangerous. Attica Fire Chief Ed O'Farrell says now it's a waiting game to see if the back wall is repairable or if the entire back wing must be torn down. Around 7 o'clock Saturday evening, Attica Fire Chief Ed O'Farrell received an interesting call from somebody he says was a former construction worker. He asked me if I knew anybody that uh, could shore up walls. And that's such a weird request of calling me. And I said, what did you say? He repeated it. And I said, well, what's the matter? And he said, well, the back of the hotel just collapsed. O'Farrell says the high winds that ripped through Attica Saturday are most likely what caused the back wall of the historic hotel to crumble. Structural engineers from Indianapolis came to evaluate the condition of the hotel on Monday. O'Farrell says the news from the evaluation was not good. The building is considered dangerous. He does feel that there is the potential, depending upon what happens with weather, that there is the potential that we could have some more collapse. O'Farrell says the collapse wouldn't be catastrophic enough to harm guests of the hotel, but he says pieces of the wall were still falling off Monday morning. O'Farrell says the structural engineer will compile his report over the next several days and should know by the end of the week if the back wall is repairable or will have to be torn down. O'Farrell says the back wing of the hotel was built in the late 1800s and says having to tear down the wing would be devastating for the historic community. It's an historic town. Um, we just, it, it, what we find is when they tear a building down or they tear a part of a building down, you lose part of the community. Ed O'Farrell says other parts of the hotel are open for business. Only the top three rooms damaged by the winds are considered unsafe. Elizabeth Rentschler, News Channel 18.